so hey guys i'm back with another video and today's video will be um my sinking funds um setup and how i want to get everything broken down so if you're new to my channel here and this is your first time ever coming across my channel hi um, my name is Cheryl. welcome i hope <laughs> that you will go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do make budgeting videos, planning videos, anything that consists uh, into um, planning. Uh, I do do videos like that. I am on a financial journey myself to get out of debt. Um, but not so much get out of debt, but for me to be comfortable in what I have going on in the month and that might mean getting out of debt some days that might mean just saving on other days it all depends on um not all depends on the goal that i have but it all depends somewhat on what i deem for me to be financially free and that doesn't necessarily mean not uh paying off all my credit cards and not using them but getting it down to that 30 percent so i should say that because that is my goal to get everything within usage of 30 percent um because i'm just gonna be real and be honest i'm not there yet where i want to just not use credit cards ever in my life um i'm a believer that you do kind of need credit cards um, because that's just that that's just the way that our world is set up that credit is everything um, so in my journey to be moving and get into my own house and getting a loan for my house um, I do think that is the fastest way for me in terms of my credit so that is my goal so it's a little long intro as far as the rent but if you are interested in um, seeing that um, besides my planning videos, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell for notifications of my next upload. And we could just go ahead and get right into the video. So this is my budget. Um, well, this is not my budget. This is my monthly view. This is my budget. And if you haven't checked out my budgeted video, I don't know how I'm going to actually um, upload them this month. We'll just go ahead and see. Um, but whichever ones come first, this is my monthly view. This is like, this is how I like to track my expenses and my bills, as well as this is my actual budget that I have written down. These are all my bills and the prices. So I do like to go ahead and use um, this first page. And if you're not familiar with what this is, this is an Erin Condren um, Deluxe Monthly Planner, as well as the Sinking from uh, Sinking Funds Kit from Caffeinated Kate. Um, on Etsy so I do like to use her kit um, and I do like to go ahead and set up my sinking funds on a page before the monthly view um, just so that I I do like that to be the first thing that I see the saving of the money not the losing of the money <laughs> if that makes sense uh, that's my goal and well not my goal but that's my mindset when it comes to that um so yeah this month, my seeking funds are going to be a little bit different just because of the way that I had to go ahead and um, budget. Um, so what I have decided to do, because honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I do not believe it. This is like a little sneak peek of my... Um, my thing from the beginning i'm not really going to be able to stuff as much as i want to put in there to be honest um unless i go ahead and bust out like a miracle which honestly i'm not gonna put pressure on myself to do that my bills kind of come first because i do kind of need those to stay afloat um so any extra money will have to go towards um my sinking funds like to get them where i would like them to be by um i guess you could almost say like the end of the month so we'll just see so currently if you watch my setup from last month i have one two three four five six seven i have seven sinking funds 
and the way that you know if you don't know what sinking funds is they're basically just savings towards something that you know is coming up something that's expensive um that you want to go ahead and save up that's separate um from your everyday expenses that you have going on so yeah the way that i was saying i was going to end up paying them was just that based on the amount of money that i had left over from my expenses um I just took that and debbied that up to the most important ones that I want to go ahead and get um, funded. And then as my variable income rolls in, then I will use that basically to do the secondary ones. But unfortunately, I am filming this a little bit late. I do not think I'm going to be able to stuff anything for October. So everything is still at zero from when I did like my big purge except for my Christmas fund. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and write them down and that's the only explanation I can give you right now because when I keep looking at it, I'm like, oh shit. But it is what it is. Life happens sometimes. And life has happened to me a lot of times this month and the months before that. So if you get a little bust down, Tatiana, you have to pick yourself back up. I mean, that's that's the only thing or you have to pussy pop on a handstand i know that's probably like too much for me to be talking about right now when i'm talking about seeking funds but yeah we'll just go ahead and get back into it because i don't know why that came out like that um i promise it probably won't be any more uh vulgar or colorful language just because i try not to do that here but i do try to be my real self so Honestly, if we was having a conversation in real life, I probably would have said that as well. And I want you guys to feel like you are a part of something real that's going on. So, yeah. But I'll try to stay a little bit censored for the most part. Um, So, we have vacation and then we have Christmas. Um, So, the problem is that for some reason, I think like I have all this money to stuff into a sinking fund. So, some of my funds is a little bit, uh, a little bit, a lot of money that I have um, that I want to go ahead and have saved. But honestly, oops, I was about to be on the wrong line, sis. Um, the beauty of having a budget is that you get to tweak and do what you want to do in your budget. Um, that's the idea. So again, I'm not going to sit there and become discouraged and really kill myself to stuff something that I cannot do. Um, I'm just going to make my lines, which I love that she have these guided lines to match it up and make sure everything is straight. Um, I love that because I don't think I will have enough patience to do that myself, to be honest. Because sometimes I have these lines and it still won't be straight. It's just, I need a lot of help in that department. The coordination is not together. It's really not. And sometimes, depending on the colors of the kit, which... I'm just a sucker for that burgundy. I'm a, ooh, I ain't even put nothing here. Honestly, I'm just really a sucker for burgundy. Um, these are like my colors, like when it comes to the fall. Like I don't have my nails done right now, but these are definitely my color. I don't know why I'm clapping because you cannot see me. But these are definitely my colors as far as fall and winter and stuff. I do go for those dark colors on my nails and my toes. Um, you will probably be seeing, um, I do do my own manicures and stuff. So you'll probably be seeing my nails done pretty soon. I did have like a bad set that I took off and just to get the health back in my nails. I just haven't done anything to them. So yeah. So for the most part, we're going to start with no money for nothing except for Christmas. <sighs> and um, she is, let's just go back. And I might perform a miracle where um, 
I might stuff them at the end of this month because we're still pretty early. So I'm not going to put zero there at all, but I am going to put what I'm going to go ahead and add to it. Um, so for car repair, I am stuffing that. It's going to be $35. Car insurance, I won't be stuffing at all. Medical will be $35. New car will be $26. Disney trip will be $48. Vacation will be a hundred i think i was smoking on crack when i did this and then christmas will be 42 dollars that i'm adding um so it's not gonna be a whole lot because honestly <sighs> my daughter is eight and at this point this world that we're living in is a lot different than so all in all, I'm going to stub $286 into my sinker funds. So like I was saying, all in all, this world that we're living in, honestly, um, is a lot different than what I was growing up. I think I have bought her all that, not saying all that I could buy her, um, but I do feel like almost that... It's to the point where I'm not going to save up that much. But honestly, that's probably like for my decorations. And <laughs> I don't even think I'm decorating because I am trying to move at the end of the month. Um, So we'll just see how that goes. That should have been a sinking fund for me because anybody that knows anything about moving knows how stressful that is and how expensive that is. Um, So, yeah. And her kit does come with a transaction log, which I love. Um, but for the most part, I usually don't make any transactions, only for ones that's probably like temporary. Um, so as you can see, I did have a sinker fund for Leah's birthday, but last month was her birthday, so that sinker fund is no longer there. Um, and my line is just so crooked up there. This is why I love this ruler, but I don't love this ruler for making lines, if that makes sense. Not in the Aaron Condren, because sis is thick that I had this book for almost a, almost a year. So she's a little thick, even though she looks a little skinny, she likes slim thick. So this ruler doesn't really do anything for me sometimes when it comes to, um, Make it line just because it's too bendy. And I actually think this the reason why is because this is that new ruler and this is the old ruler. So I should have used this one. The old ruler is not as bendy. It's a little bit more sturdy for me. So yeah, I should. This was like the woven wonders thing. And this is like this new, whatever, the kaleidoscope that. And I always pick up the wrong one. But yeah. Anyway, that's that. So these are my sinking funds for this month. This is not a long video because I can save only what I can save. But do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have more content coming up. Um, if you're not already subscribed, and if you are subscribed, please don't forget, you know, hit that little bell so you don't miss my um um, videos when they are posted you get to see them as soon as they're up if you're like me that sometimes actually stark st i hope stark stalk stalk the actual youtubers that i watch because i watch youtube all day like i don't even watch regular tv all i watch is youtube um so sis i i'm subscribed to the channel three times a week four times a week i can't do the one times a week videos because then i get impatient um, I don't, I don't know if that's just the world that we live in today, but yeah. So I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel, join my family, join my crazy, uh, self, if that's what you want to do. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for the support so far. I think my channel has only been really up for two months. We're growing strong. Let's become a community in our own over here of financially stable uh, single moms out there because I am a single mom, honestly. And um, yeah, let's go.
Black Girls Rock. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.